Hey, good morning. It's Thursday morning, and it's the 2nd of April, I believe. Yeah, it's hard to keep track of time right now. It's un unusual. It's a weird, weird time, but that's all right. We're going to get through this. I was thinking this morning uh, what uh, kind of alluded to last night in our Bible study and uh, wanted to just maybe expand it just a bit for a devotion this morning. So if you have your Bible and you want to go along or you just want to listen, um, I think this will hopefully benefit some of us uh, this morning. Uh, the scripture that I alluded to last night in Hebrews chapter 12, it says, Wherefore, seeing we are also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight of the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. I focus primarily last night in our Bible study on the phrase looking unto Jesus. And we talked about Jesus being the one that we should constantly be looking to because he is secure, he is steadfast, he is unmovable. But this morning, as I was reading scripture again, I was drawn back to this passage and I needed to just kind of expand on it, if you will, just, just a little bit. The Bible says this, that we are to lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. We are to lay aside every weight. I looked up that word weight this morning that literally means burden or something that is weighing us down like a load of some kind. And then I also looked up the word race and basically it means conflict. So if you were to look at this, we are to lay those things down that are burdening, and burdening us. That's a tough word to say, burdening us. I didn't know if it's a word, but we'll use it anyways. Things that are weighing us down because the race that we're running, this journey that we're all on is a conflict. It is filled with all kinds of issues and troubles. What came to me this morning, and I was kind of discussing some of this with a friend of mine, what came to me this morning is the fact that we are in a moment of time where things have kind of slowed, they've, they've really slowed down. I mean, it is, it's like a snail's pace almost in some incidences. Sometimes it's, we got more going on now than we ever have. It's just, it's different. I don't know how else to put it. You, you know what I'm talking about. Can't really define it. It's just different. But when the Bible says that we are to lay aside every weight, I, I believe that during this season, God is asking us to cut some things away. Things that were in our lives that were unnecessary. Things that were in our lives that distracted us and caused us from truly moving forward as a child of God. Lay aside the weight and the sin that doth so easily ensnare us or entrap us. Those things that constantly, whether it's your pride, you're just filled with pride and you think you know all the answers. Maybe it's it's a sin that you've allowed to remain in your life. Maybe you're just, you're just distracted and you spend most of your time looking in everyone's else life on social media. This, this is the time to lay aside some weights. This is a time to lighten the load, so to speak, so we can make it through the conflicts of life. I believe that's what the scripture is trying to get us to see. But before that, we, we are introduced in chapter 11 of Hebrews to all these heroes of faith who did so many incredible things, who saw miracles and who re received promises and kept moving forward and did great things for God because of their faith. And then we walk into Hebrews chapter 12 and we are surrounded by these people. They are looking, if you will, they are looking to you and I to see if we will complete the task 
But how can we complete the task if we are so weighted down by fear and so weighted down by uh, philosophies or things that we think are more important than the things of God? This is a time to cast aside every weight. Push it off to the side. Strip yourself of everything that is keeping you from moving into a deeper relationship with God. Something that is so recognizable in you that others, when they see you, will notice it. It's not a time to, to, to worry. It's not a time to fear. And I know there's so much uncertainty and we don't know where all of this is going. But I know this, the word of God, the word of God is true. And if we look to Jesus, He's not caught off guard by this. He's not surprised by all this. If we look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, we're going to make it through. We may come out on the other side a little bit lighter. I hope I come out on the other side of this a little bit lighter. And well, we won't talk about that, but you know what I'm saying. I hope that we'll get through this season a little bit different, changed. For the better. It's up to you. No one can force you. You can remain in your same ruts and your same ideals and your same philosophies. You can stay in that same mindset or you can literally let God during this season transform your mind. Look at what is happening all around you and see it from the perspective of heaven, not your perspective, but heaven's view. I think when we get through all this, Number one, I think God's going to do some amazing things. Already is, but even greater things. Number two, I think we're going to see people that have, a, have put down some deep roots and established their trust in the Lord. I just wanted to share, I don't know if it made much sense, but just on my heart this morning, I want to cast aside some things. I want to lay aside some weights. I want to get rid of some frills, if you will, that have kept me. I don't ever want to think. Some people think they've arrived. Some people think they don't need anything from God. They have all the answers. I do not want to be that type of person. I want to look at a scripture like this and ask God, okay, God, what is it that I need to lay aside? What is it that I need to be careful? What is it that I need to, to get rid of in my life right now? Push it out of the way so my focus is on you because you are true. You are constant. You're the author, the finisher, the beginning, the ending, the first, the last, king of kings, Lord of lords. So I'm challenging you this morning, or whenever you watch this, that you would really take a moment and examine your heart and your life. Does it line up to the word of God? Are you encumbered with so many things? Do you have issues that you've not settled in your walk with God. You need to probably deal with those. This is a good season to do so. May God bless you, love you, appreciate you. Just at the church thinking and praying for every single one of you. And I, I believe God's with us. I really do. I believe God's going to help us. That there's strength coming to all of us. And I am trusting in this word that I'm going to look to Jesus. And while I'm looking, I'm going to get rid of some things that are in my path because the conflict ahead demands that I be ready. Love you. Appreciate you. May God richly bless you today.